to love Mother Earth as if she is my real mother, as if she's my real grandmother, you know. I've been in those situations where I, I cry to Mother Earth. I see something happening, uh, like in the tar sands, for example. I cried when I saw the devastation that's happening there. It is a final colonial pillage that's going on right now, clawing away at the Earth in the most violent way, pretending that climate change isn't happening. I had a nephew that worked for Syncrude. I go around with this big garbage bag, he said, and I pick all the ducks out from around that pond, he said, and I throw them away in the, in the, in the garbage, he said. When my mother tells me stories about her childhood, yeah. uh, she tells me how they used to walk, sometimes for days, yeah. and they would camp when they're tired, yeah. and people don't do that anymore. You could look around you, and whoever walks, Right. No one, no one walks over here, ever. So we're walking. It's not about confrontation. It's about communities coming together and marching to pray for the healing of the world's largest and most destructive development in the history of mankind known as Canada's tar sands. <laughs>